You fight well, but this corruption can't be beaten with a blade. Seek out the Forge Sister. Ask her about the fire of the mountain. Help her, and she will help you reach the tree. As for me, I must return to my work. I like that they have a dialogue tree, kind of like, um, I think the first one had it, but I don't really remember. Who are you to command a rider? I am a maker, older than even the Chard Council. These hands have laid the foundations for many worlds, but that was long ago. And now, they but hardly know the touch of stone. Are you not curious as to why I seek the tree? I would not presume to question one of the four, but yes, tell me. I must restore humanity to redeem war. Heaven and hell battle upon the shattered earth. All creation trembles, and at the center of it all stands your brother. He is innocent. I never said he wasn't. The tree holds power over life and death. If you would resurrect humanity, then you are headed in the right direction. Be warned. A dark presence dwells now within the tree, and the path is barred by corruption. Probably should get that looked at. My realm is Uh, not worried about that. Yeah, I can use some ghouls. Yeah, I mean, even though war did defy death at one point, I mean, we all know, or you should you all know that death is the leader of the four of the four horsemen. I mean, he's always been the leader. War is more or less like I guess the second in command, but I think he's the youngest, with death being the oldest of of the siblings. I mean, I would have loved to have seen Strife and well, honestly, I don't remember their names. I just know them as War, uh, War Pestilence. Famine and death, and but each one, but they run by different names. So I would like to see the other. I mean, hell, I would love to see the next game with the female rider, the sister, because they're, they're not all brothers. It's it's three boys and a girl. So, but I was tr what I was trying to say before I have to go low. is that um. I mean, when Darksiders 1 was coming out, they were already still dealing with Devil May, DMC Devil May Cry, and they were already doing the whole Nephilim bit of storyline. I mean, I like DMC's version of Nephilim's, but I love these so much better. I mean, this is what I see as Nephilim. Death, war, I would love to see the other siblings, and hell, maybe the other two in a third game, and then the fourth game would conclude the Darksiders series. <laughs> there, I just beat your record. The Reaper. It's about time you came. The Makers are dying, and our realm. We few are all that remain. A warrior's <laughs> life is never easy, old one. Aye, not easy. But simple. I always saw my end with blade in hand, a field of enemy dead before me. And what glorious end awaits you hiding behind these gates? Uh, you cannot fight corruption, nor can you harm it. You can only kill those it has claimed. Every blow I strike against corruption is a blow against my own people. Muse on that, Ryder, before you mark me as a coward. I can end your trouble. Maker. <laughs> well, you're welcome to try. This blade is more ancient than you, Ryder, and taller to boot. I will break it, and you, down to size. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Oh, 
Yeah, I remembered it. I had to freaking, uh, what was it? I had to fucking get a lot stronger before I can take down Thane. But the makers aren't ones to fuck with. I mean, the one maker in uh, the original Darksiders. I mean, every he, it's like he walked through the enemies. No one could take him down, no matter what they did, and that was scary in and of itself. We've been awaiting your arrival, horsemen. Your shadow has long hovered over this realm. It's so nice to Many see them update, the update one, everything. But I don't know you. We are the builders of this world. But corruption seethes at its heart and destroys in days what we shaped over eons. Adar does his best to soothe our pain. But our souls yearn for only one comfort. Death. We are without hope. Horsemen, do you ever doubt your future? No. So one like yourself would set out to change a fate that displeases him. That is a long and dangerous path, even for death himself. How is that your concern, Shaman? Only that I am skilled at crafting talismans. If you gather the proper materials and return them to me, I'll make a potent talisman to aid you on your journey. What do you require? Stalker's bone, mordant dew, and carven stone. It is not a simple charm. Where can I find them? Somewhere in the Forge Lands. I rarely leave Tristone, but that Pup Khan is always out exploring. He can tell you more, no doubt. Tell me, Shaman. What is corruption? I only know what I fear it to be. That corruption is hate given life. And that hate does not come from trees or stones, but from ourselves. You despair, old one. And yet... Raise life from the earth. I am a shaman, bound to this task even as our days darken. We are as the vines, coming to root, then to flower and then to decay, dropping seeds upon the dust, a circle everlasting. I cannot stop it, nor can I stop you. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Let's see. What about the tree? Tell me more about the tree of life. The forest around the tree has been corrupted. It hungers. You cannot reach the tree, not with breath still in you. And... The path of a brother troubles you. It is your past, but also your future. Maybe I can give you pauldron. Huh. Stone, wood, iron, these are the gifts of the makers. Horseman, <sighs> good luck. I will say, I mean, this game series, I, can't, I don't know if I can really call it that, but the two that came out were great. I mean, I will say, though, that quality wise darksiders one had a much larger scale in terms of quality because um especially when they had bulgrim and all that stuff i mean you still see him in here but he's not as d detailed uh, as what he is in the original darksiders which i really wish they would bring back as a remaster edition as well inbox is empty A lot of slowdown. Crap. Maker's beard. The rumors are true. A horseman in the Forge Lands. The name's Alia, and that's my brother Valis. We are the keepers of this forge. Well, like an oversized Merida. Less now than once it did. This is a Maker's Forge. Nay, the Maker's Forge is lost to us. Silenced by the hands of corruption, but in its depths we once crafted the dark towers of hell and the cities of heaven. Now you make trinkets. <laughs> and you, one of the four, now seek the aid of the makers? 
I guess we've all fallen from high places. I came here seeking the tree, and your elder speaks of fire. What is it? Aye, the fire of the mountain, the Stonefather's blood. It once flowed into our forge, as did the tears. Both imbued our craft with incredible power. The heart and the soul of stone. But corruption has taken them, and now our forge is silent. Why does this concern me? The way to the tree is lost, barred by corruption. You can no more leave this place than we. Restore our forge, and the tree can be reached. I don't follow your reasoning. We are makers, not warriors. But we are not without our weapons. Before the forge was lost, we crafted a mighty creature of soul and stone. A colossus to fight this corruption. But to awaken him requires a maker's key. And we need our forge to craft one. Will you help us? What is this cauldron? A temple built in the shadow of Stonefather's Peak. There, the fire of the mountain was harnessed and passed into our forge. Ride east of town, ride through the charred pass and towards the cindery peak of the Stone Father. There, you will find the cauldron. Man of no words, your brother. <laughs> but hardly silent. His voice is the ring of the hammer and the roar of the white flame. Yes, he works while you talk. <laughs> I may have need of a blade. Is your need greater than ours, horsemen? I think not. We fight for the survival of our realm and our kin. Prove worthy, and mayhaps we can do business. Bitch! Fare thee well. Yeah, yeah, blow it out your ass. Go. Okay, well, other than that. I mean, yeah, I know, I have all, I, I will say, Darksiders 1 didn't have much in terms of exploration. I mean, the levels were somewhat diverse, but still, the, the game wasn't that massive. This I mean, no place for a horse. they expected you to run like 50 freaking miles with your, with your horse, uh, or more, or whatever, and uh, you really had to only go into an area where your horse was allowed. So... I don't remember the name of the maker that I encountered in um, Darksiders 1, but I just, he was so funny. Pigeons crapping in his yard is what he called the angels. Horseman, you'll find not that way, but trouble. Do what you must for your kin, old one. For mine, I ride to the cauldron. Well, if you fancy your corruption waste deep, that's as good a place as any. You know, there's a reason this gate is here. And if you were a friend, I wouldn't have let you pass. But then... <laughs> Who is friend to death? Have you wisdom to share, or was it long since knocked loose in battle? <laughs> wisdom ain't like teeth. I've plenty left. Enough to stay clear of the cauldron. The ancients filled it with right nasty traps. But one so clever as yourself will surely elude them. Bane showed you a new move, Harvest Runner. Okay. Yeah, I like that move. Jack and Daxter was another game series. I mean, I don't think I want to see that on PS4. I mean, it already... Sorry, I got cut off. Uh, I said the same thing about Final Fantasy X, but, uh... I mean, they ended up putting that on PS4, and I just didn't expect that shit to happen. And I got the special edition on PS3 and everything. And I saw the special edition on PS4, and I kind of wanted to get it, but I missed the opportunity. I'm a dumbass. What was the point of that? It's time you find something. 
Oh, yeah. <gasps> Bothers me not to start over in Darksiders, because personally, it's been a couple years. I played through Part 2, didn't beat it on my original console, only because I... <clears throat> I got bored after a while. I know, I know. I'm an asshole. Let's see. Oh. You know, that makes sense now. Definitely corruption. I have to go alone. They don't. Yeah, the horse riding always made me think of The Legend of Zelda. Just like how I can just leave and the horse is gone. I need the horse, it'll rise up from the ground. Much like Ruin as well. And Ruin was a good horse. Kind of weird that a demon somehow laid claim to Ruin. I just don't see how that's possible. Yeah, that's a Death's Gate. Something big in there. Uh, going up. Oh, well, hello there. I got him. Ooh, a chest. Oh shit! God damn it. Oh, another chest. I cannot. I can't equip that. Okay, well, you know, I tried. Where the hell am I? Himself. Uh, I still remember a lot of games I played back then. Uh, let's see now. StarCraft is another series I adored. I love RTS games. 
I should blame my father for that. He got me into Command and Conquer. Because I remember when we first got to Command and Conquer Tiberian Sun, I didn't know what the hell I was playing. And then I figured it out and loved it. Actually, no, that wasn't my first RTS, though. My first RTS was... You know, I cannot remember the damn name of it, but... Okay, I don't even know how I got up there in the first place. What the fuck? Uh, look around, look around, maybe up there. Let me try that. Anyway, um, I remember my first RTS, I can't remember, I just know that, um, they had, it was an RTS game, and it had that, that sergeant guy that, uh, if you guys know what I'm talking about, the, the one dude from Saving Silverman, he, he was the football coach, and he was, and he was also a sergeant in another movie. And he was a sergeant in real life, but anyway, um, he's also the, um, the toy soldier from Toy Story. I can't remember his name, but anyway, um, he, he did the voice work for, for that video game, for that PC game, and it was fun, um, because you'd get to play as either the ILA terrorists or, or the USA, and that's who you played as. I mean, then Command and Conquer, my dad got loved it, but then we started playing Red Alert, and that basically became the staple game that, that my dad and I played together. Fun times. Mm. I'm Wolverine. <laughs> Gotta like that Death can have more diverse weapons than War. War only really had his sword and the equipable stuff with it, and of course Death's sight as well. But other than that, I mean, War didn't have many weapons. So that's another thing they improved on with this, Darksiders. I'm pretty sure I'm really supposed to do this when I'm able to split dimensions and all this stuff, but, I mean, I'm sure that comes later. Oh shit, that was scary. Ooh, probably a key. Yep. A key. The design still looks really nice, even for the de death in it of the edition. Damn it! Yeah, that's right. Shove it on in there. My one complaint about the original Dark Siders, though, oh my god, your health, the health system sucks. It can be anybody hitting you and you, you lose a lot of, oh shit. That's what was making all that noise. I got claws too, bitch. Come on, come on, come on. Well, that was fun.
Hmm. I could look down here. Oh, I get it. Well, let me look over this way then. Nada. Whole lot of nada. Okay, hold on. I, I probably could have made that. Hold on. Hell yeah. I'm a badass. You know, I don't think I ever looked down here when I first played. Huh. Why do I get a feeling something bad is about to happen? Great. Oh, I remember you. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Damn it. Yeah, I remember. That's the side quest, Gorewood. I can't do it now. Fuck. I have been down there, but God, it's been a while. Well, at least I know where to find Gorewood. Because I know he's supposed to assign me that mission when I defeat the, uh... When I defeat Thane, because uh, Thane won't give me that mission unless I beat him, I believe. Because then he said, oh, if you can beat me, I'm pretty sure you can beat Gorewood then. And uh, I think he jumps in and tries to help me halfway through the fight. I don't remember, but... <sighs> anyway, onward to glory. Uh, another game series I love is God of War. I mean, the... God... The God of War series was great, but then it started going somewhat downhill after they released the the one that came out on PS3. That uh, ugh, it was fun, but I mean, they they tried taking um, what is it? They tried taking gameplay from Castlevania to try and differentiate the combat. Honestly, leave the combat alone. There's no need to to switch up Kratos' fighting style or prowess or whatever. He. He fights perfectly on his